Hi, I am Roxana from VP State and in this video I will show how to import the Dubai demo. On this domain I have installed the team and the team included plugins and the first step that I need to take is to activate the team. I will add my license code here and click check license. My theme is now activated. The next step that I need to take before importing the demo is to install the SVG support plugin. The team supports SVG icons for features and amenities and for the demo SVG icons to be imported along with the demo content, you will need to have the plugin installed before the demo import. I will go to plugins. I will click the add new button and look for the SVG support plugin. This is the plugin that you need to install. I will click install now. I will activate the plugin. And now I can proceed with the Dubai demo import. I will go to VP Residence options, import demo. Here you will find all demos available. I will look for the Dubai one. This is the one. I will click import demo. Click continue and import and I will wait for the content to be imported. This might take a few minutes. The demo was successfully imported and next I will show the steps that you need to take after the demo import. I will show first the steps that you need to take from admin. First I will set permalinks correctly. I will go to settings, permalinks. I will set permalinks to postname and save changes. Next I will go to team options start with general section. Here you will need to replace the demo settings with your own. You need to change country and make other settings that will fit your business. For example, in logos and favicon, you need to upload your own logo to replace the demo one. In social and contact, you need to add your contact details and add your social details. In map section, you need to decide on the map system that you want to use. You can keep OpenStreet or select Google Maps, but if Google Maps will be selected, then a Google Maps API key will need to be created and added in the team. Next, under property page, you will find all settings available for your property page. You can use the default property page layout or create custom templates with Elementor. Next, you will have the property card design. Here you can set settings for the cards that will show in lists. Next, in design, you can change colors, make settings for fonts and make other settings. Next, in email management, you need to make settings for the emails that will be sent from your site. In membership, you can select the submission type. You can set it to no to be free or you can set it to be per listing or with membership packages. In this section, you can set the team payments. You can set PayPal or Stripe from the team or you can enable WooCommerce. Next, in the search section, you can make settings for the advanced search form. Here you can select the type. Here you can enable geolocation and you will have other options available. This was just a quick overview of the available options. You need to check each section and set it to fit your business. Next, I will go on front end. So I will click visit site. You can see that the theme content was imported. This is the home page. For the home page to show exactly as the one from the official demo, you will need to make some manual adjustments for these two sections. For these sections, we used property categories and an image will need to be manually uploaded for each category. First, I will show how these sections were created. Since the page was created with Elementor, I will click edit with Elementor. I will scroll down to those sections. This is the first one. Here we use the VP Residence Display Categories widget. The categories were not saved, so you will need to manually select the categories that you want to display in this section. I will need to select one category per element. I selected the category for the first one. I will select the second one. I will add random categories just to show how this widget works. Here a category from the demo is already selected and here as well but I will change it with another one. I will show the second section. We used the same widget and for this as well I will need to select 
categories manually. I will also select random ones. Now I will save the changes made and from admin I will manually upload an image for each category used. So I will go back to admin. You will find all property categories under properties. They are categories type city, neighborhood, county, state, features and amenities and property status. I will start with categories. I have selected apartment as a category for the homepage section. To upload an image I will need to edit the category. I will click upload image. You can select an image from media or upload one from your device. I will upload an image from my device. I will select the image click insert into post and update. I will go back to home page and refresh and now you can see that the image that I just uploaded shows. I will do the same for a different category. I will go to neighborhood. I have this category selected to show in front end. I will follow the exact steps. I will press edit. I will press the upload image button. I will select an image from my device. I will click insert into post and click update. Now going on home page, on refresh, here I will have the image that I just uploaded. Since the steps are the same, I will upload the rest of the images of the record and after show the results. I have uploaded all images. This is the result. Now the section shows as the ones from the Dubai demo. These are the steps that you need to take after the demo import. Next, I will show some quick guidelines on how to edit the homepage elements. So I will go back to the Elementor editor. I have Navigator enabled to have better access for each section. I will start with the hero section. We created this section with two columns. The image that you see here, the background set here was set as section background. You can change it from style. Here you can delete the background image that we added and replace it with your own. Next you'll have the search form. This search was created with the search form builder. We added tabs for the search. If on import the categories for tabs will not be selected, you will need to select them from here, update the changes made, refresh the page and after from forms field, you will need to assign each field to the category that you want. For these elements we used the icon box. Here we added an icon and added the link for the apartment property category. The same was done for each element and for the second column. The second image for this section can be managed from background overlay. Here you will be able to delete the demo image and replace it with your own. Next you'll have the properties section. Here we created a section that will display the latest properties added in the site. For that we used the VP Residence items list. Using this widget you can change the settings we made. You can change the number of items that will be displayed, the number of items per row. You can change the order and also you can filter the properties by category. Going to the next section, you will have the properties slider section. Here we also added a text with the heading widget. This one can be managed with the same widget and the list of properties was created with the VP Residence item slider card version 8. You can change settings and change the number of items that will be displayed, change order, filter properties by categories and also you can hide or show details in the property cards. For example, if you want to hide elements you will need to use these options. Going further to the next section you will have area section. We used here the VP Residence Display Categories widget. I already explained how to set this widget and the section below. For the section near the categories one we added text and the button. You can edit the text and change the button settings. Also here we used the VP Residence Video Player widget. You can change the the video that will play when this button will be pressed. 
Going further to the next section, you will have testimonial section. Here we used VP Residence testimonial widget. You will have the option to change client name, title, image and edit the text. You will need to do this for each element in this section. Next you will have the hotspot section. Here we used the VP Residence hotspot widget. You will be able to change the background image and choose other hotspots. You can change here the demo details. Next you will have the logo section. Here we created a section with logos. They were added with the image carousel widget from Elementor. Here we uploaded the logos that we wanted to show. You can delete this and replace them with your own. Next you'll have this section. Here we added text and here we created boxes with icon and text. We used the icon widget from Elementor and uploaded SVG icons and here we added the text using icon box widget from Elementor. You will need to edit the text and replace the demo icons with your own. Going further to the next section, you will have the agent section. We created this list with VP Residence list agents widget. You can change the widget settings, change number of items or change order. Going further to the last section in the page, we created a contact section. We added two columns. In the first one, we use the contact form builder to create this contact form. You can change the fields and make other settings. And in the second column, we added an image that you can change from the column style. Here you can delete the image and replace it with your own. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.